In addition to the slope intercept form, there's another way to write the equation for a line, and this is called the standard form. Even though the slope intercept form is typically the easiest, it's not considered the standard form. And the standard form looks like this ax plus by equals c. And a and b are just numbers. And any line can be written in this form. And I'll show you some examples of how to graph a line in standard form. Suppose we're told to graph the line 2x plus 3y equals 6. Well, one way to graph this is to find the intercepts. And here's how we do that. To find the y-intercept, we plug in 0 for x. So I'm going to take this equation and rewrite it, but I'm going to have 0 in there for x. So I have 2 times 0 plus 3y equals 6. And when you write it like this, you can see that this 2 times 0 is simply 0, so you can ignore that. And you're just left with this. And often, if the numbers are friendly like this, you can do this mentally. You can just imagine x being 0 right there, so that's gone. And what you're left with is that. And you can work this in your head. If 3y is equal to 6, then it's pretty clear that y has to be 2. And so we got this value, y equals 2, by putting in 0 for x. So that gives us a point. x is 0 and y is 2. So we can plot that point on our graph. That's the y-intercept. We can find the x-intercept in a similar fashion. To find the x-intercept, we plug in 0 for y. So once again, I'll rewrite this equation but I'll put in a 0 for y. So I get 2x plus 3 times 0 equals 6. And once again, one of these terms disappears. 3 times 0 is just 0. And again, you can probably look at the equation and just do this mentally. Just blank that out in your mind because y is 0 and you're left with 2x equals 6. And if 2x equals 6, it's pretty clear that x equals 3. And that gives us another point. We got this value, x equals 3, by plugging in 0 for y. So that's another point. x is 3 and y is 0. And that's our x-intercept right there. And once we have the x-intercept and the y-intercept, we can draw in the line. And it's going to look like this. So if you're given an equation in standard form, a lot of times it's fairly easy to graph the line just by finding the intercepts. Now there's another approach we can take to this also. I can take this equation and put it into slope intercept form by doing the algebra. I'll start with 2x plus 3y equals 6 and I'll just solve for y. I'll subtract 2x from each side and on the left, the 2x and the minus 2x cancel, and that leaves me with 3y equals, and I'll write it like this. I'll write negative 2x plus 6, and then I'll divide both sides by 3. And on the left, the 3's cancel, so it's solved for y. And I, on the right, I can divide each of these terms by the 3. So I have y equals negative 2 thirds x, plus 6 over 3, which is 2. And you can see that this is now in slope-intercept form, and this is ex exactly what I have drawn over here. I have a y-intercept of 2 and a slope of negative 2 thirds. From one point on the line, I can go down 2, that's a rise of negative 2, and then over 3, a run of 3, and that puts me at another point on the graph. And because the slope-intercept form is so familiar, a lot of people prefer to do the algebra like we did here rather than finding the, finding the intercepts. But if you're given, a, given an equation in standard form, ax plus by equals c, you can graph it either way. You can uh, find the intercepts or you can put it into slope intercept form. Now some people ask, why do we even have standard form like this? y equals mx plus b, the slope-intercept form works just fine. Why don't we just use that all the time? 
and the slope intercept form does work well and it is easier to use but the problem is it can't be used to represent every single line specifically you can't write a vertical line in this form because a vertical line doesn't have a slope the slope is undefined or you could think of it as being infinitely steep we don't have a number we can put in there for the slope so because we can't represent every single line with it the y equals mx plus b form is not considered the standard form so we need this other form ax plus b by equals c in order to be able to represent any line